Mount St. Helens is known for having the most destructive eruption in United States history, causing 57 deaths and causing problems in several states and Canadian provinces. There is another volcano in the state of Washington that is just as dangerous, but doesn't get as much attention. Mount Rainier is very dangerous. It is considered a decade volcano. It is a volcano for immense research considering the danger factor that it could have. It has erupted before. However, what makes Mount Rainier quite dangerous is the fact that it's located very close to a major metropolitan area, the Seattle-Tacoma metropolitan area. Cue the map. Mount Rainier is not that far away from the city of Tacoma, Washington. And if an eruption were to take place, you would have lahars, known as, which are mud flows, you would have lahars and a lot of ash and smoke and a lot of debris from an eruption flowing through the Puyallup Valley, flowing all the way to Tacoma. That is the port facility in Tacoma. What makes this volcano dangerous is that it could disrupt a lot of operations on the ports. What makes it disruptive is its proximity to a very large population center. That is one reason to watch out for Mount Rainier. That is one reason to think about what plan that's going to be taking place when an evacuation is necessary on the occasion that a volcano does erupt. And then you also have to take into account the geology of the state of Washington. You have the spine of the state of Washington, the Cascade Mountains, Mount Rainier is part of that. You have the fact that it's located on the Pacific Rim of Fire, hence why you also have a lot of earthquakes in the region. Mount St. Helens gets a lot of attention, and that attention is quite deserved considering its eruption history. But Mount Rainier is a volcano that needs to be watched as well. Because that volcano is located very close, very dangerously close, 54 miles south of Seattle, and very close to the city of Tacoma. Because of the presence of glaciers on Mount Rainier, if, were in, if an eruption were to take place, you would have a lot of mud flows, known as lahars. You would have a lot of plumes of ash going on, and that ash is going to fall and descend on several places. And you don't want to breathe that stuff, because if you breathe it, it will mix with the fluids in your lungs and basically set like cement. That is just something to consider. You should learn geography, geology, learn as much as you can about a place. I hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.